Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about my big money bolos, items that I sold on eBay for a big profit. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. This video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to start the video out with a little bit of footage from the Goodwill bins of when I found one of my biggest money bolos ever. Um, I am going to link this video down below if you want to see the entire footage. As I shop at the Goodwill bins, I pop up screen shares of how I listed everything. Well, this particular day, Oh my goodness, wait until you see what I found. These things right here were some sort of like car mat. So I took those over to um, Dad Planet and he looked that up for me because I don't know anything about it. But here it is, you guys. Here is my $1,000 item. You're like, what? It's an envelope. Yes, it's an envelope. And we'll come back to that in just a minute. I actually found four envelopes. Everybody else passed them by. Here's Dad Planet. He's looking up those car mats for me. Um, they didn't really comp out very well for as heavy as they were, so I decided to leave those behind. But um, I figured he'd be the person to research it. I found this beautiful necklace. It's sterling silver in the original packaging. Look at this. All right, you see what that says? Stinky stickers. If you ever find stinky stickers, oh my goodness, cha-ching, okay? These are scratch and sniff, you guys. And it, those are all scratch and sniff. I found hundreds. These are the ones that have already sold. Look at these prices. These are all the ones that are currently listed. All right, so I just sold another one. And if you go over to that video, you can see some of the other ones that I sold. I just sold these vintage scratch and sniff stickers. There's eight stickers here. I sold these for a best offer of $60 plus shipping. Incredible, right? I sold another one of these Wendell August plate covers. If you've been watching me for a while, you have seen me sell these over and over and over again. Some of them are singles. Some of them are outlets. They have all been big money bolos. Uh, some of them are dogwood print. Some of them are uh, pewter. Some of them are bronze. Just if you see this brand, look it up. He makes other things as well. I got this at a garage sale for $1. Sold this one piece right here for a best offer of $39 plus shipping. I will say that the same buyer keeps coming back. So... Is there a huge demand? I don't know. People aren't like, I'm not getting tons of different people buying them, but this one person wants them. So I don't know if he's buying them and reselling them or what's going on, but I'm okay with it. I've got some listed still. He can come buy them all. All right. The next one here are these vintage Barbies. As you can see, this is a parts and repair lot. They are all, they're a mess. I mean, look at their legs. They need cleaned up. I mean, their faces are fair condition. This one looks like she's had a haircut. So um, yeah, definitely be on the lookout, even if things are not in the best condition. So these came from a lot that I picked up from Donatella Bottolino, but I didn't actually pick it up. Uh, there was a live auction going on on her YouTube channel. You guys have probably heard this story a hundred times if you watch me on a regular basis because I have sold so many items from this box. But I placed a bid on it and then I stopped bidding and Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger started bidding and she bid this box up big time and sent it to me as a gift and I listed everything and I have a video on it. So I will link that video down below. Definitely check out Donatella Bottolino and Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger. I will have their links down below as well. But I sold this Barbie lot for $65 plus shipping. The next item, uh, you're going to see this in one of my featured uh, Facebook 
members share videos because I shared it there as well. I got these at a garage sale for $15. It's Scholastic 45 Books. It's Puppy Patrol, King Street Kennels Playset and Dogs by Jenny Dale. Now, these dogs are probably what helped me get more money for this. It came with this. It opens up. Let me show you uh, some more pictures here. How cool is this? Plus 45 buck books. Paid $15. Took a best offer of $175 for these books and the little play set. So definitely a bolo to be on the lookout for. I think it's pretty rare and hard to find, but at least if you see it, you will know to pick it up. Are the books by themselves a bolo? I'm not sure. But uh, if I saw them and I can get any book sets in a series like that, I will pick them up. The next item is this lot of toys. From time to time, I get lazy and I make toy lots like this. And then a reseller can buy it or somebody who just wants their something for their kid to open as like a fun little unboxing but I will say in the future, I think I'm going to have toy shows. I know I'm going to. I'm actually working on getting one together now. I'm going to have a whatnot toy show. And I'm going to do small lots of toys. And I think it's going to be super fun. So if you guys are not following me on whatnot, there is a link down below. I am Bolo Buddies, all one word, lowercase over there. If you use my link to join whatnot down below, you will get $15 to shop. That is a referral link. And you get free money. So go check it out. Click on that link. Get your $15. Come hang out. Even if you don't buy anything from me on whatnot, come check it out. You can use that $15 with anyone. But I would love to see you guys in the chat. So many of you have already come over and hung out or supported by buying something. I appreciate both of both buyers and watchers. It greatly appreciated. So I hope to see you guys at a future show. Uh, this was actually purchased by one of my Bolo Buddies members of the YouTube channel, Two Sisters Picker. <laughs> two Sisters Picker. No, Two Sister Pickers. I put the S in the wrong place. Anyway, if you go over and save the seller, you'll get notifications when they list new items. She is also known as She Picker on YouTube. So I will link her down below. Again, she's a Bolo Buddies YouTube member. Thank you so much for being a part of memberships. And these are just some of the items in her store. So go and check it out below. And thank you for your purchase. Remember the Pez dispenser, everybody. Oh my goodness. The Pez dispenser that I lost. All right. So here's the story on this. I listed this Pez dispenser and I believe it was auction style. I can't remember the whole story, but... I went to try to find it and I could not find it. It was broken for parts. And if it would have been fixed and in good condition, I probably could have sold this for, I forget what it was. I did a video on it, maybe a hundred, 150. The comps were really good, but I didn't do my research. I listed it on auction. It was broken, kind of had a little bit of seller's remorse and I did a video on it. But I would definitely honor the sale always. If I sell something and it sells, I'm going to sell it. It's going to that buyer. Well, it turns out I could not find the item. And I'm sure a few of you thought that maybe I was fibbing, but I wasn't. I looked all over for this thing. I probably spent hours looking for this thing. Drove me crazy. Well... I did a short on this. I was going through my plush one day and it was sitting in the bottom of a plush tote. So I must have somehow got it mixed into that tote. When I sold this item originally, I told the buyer, I am so sorry, I cannot locate this item. But as soon as I do, I will get in touch with you and I will honor the sale price, the $52. So when I found it, I reached out to the buyer and I told them, would you, do you still want the item? I found it. I finally found it. I was so happy. And she said, let me double check and make sure that I did not already get it. She did not have it. So I honored the price at $52. You see here, it says 300 or best offer. The only reason I did that is because I did not want somebody to go and buy it before she could get to the listing. So I priced it ridiculously high and she made a best offer of $52 and I accepted that is what I sold it for to her the first time. Then I couldn't find it. 
So yes, I did honor the original sales price. So for all of you doubters out there, I found it and I honored the original price. So could I have had my husband fix this and maybe gotten more? Yes, probably so. But if you ever see these Pez with no feet, uh, definitely do your research because some of them go for big money. The next item is this Animal Adventure Dalmatian stuffed animal. I can't remember if this came out of the free plush that I got from a viewer or where I got this. I didn't mark it down for some reason, but I ended up selling this for a best offer of $50 plus shipping because it was so big. The buyer was all in for $86.03. This is the time capsule that I talked about in my recent This Is My Bolo video. If you guys have not seen that, go check it out. I have a bunch of other YouTube channels that come on and they share their big money bolo. So you get to see other people talk about their bolos. Super fun. Check it out. You're going to be amazed by what people find and sell for profits. This is a vintage 2000 Chuck E. Cheese Millennium Time Capsule Souvenir Prize. Really hard to find. And it's not anything super, super special. And I sold this for a... Actually, let's see. What did I sell this for? No, I sold this for my sale price of $55.25 plus shipping. And I still have one left. I got this at a garage sale for a quarter. It it was free. It was sitting outside for free. It's a vintage seven Moom and Troll books. I had no idea. They just looked vintage and they were in a box set. So I just grabbed it. And uh, it sold. It sold really quick. This is a Maddie Mod Barbie clone doll, and I got her at a garage sale for $1, sold her for a best offer of $55 plus shipping. I had her priced higher. I thought she was going to go for more, but I, I just wanted to sell her. It was one of those slow days, and somebody offered me $55, so I just went ahead and took it. Could I have held out for more? Quite possibly, and maybe not. So maybe $55 was the going rate, and I just had it too high. This is a Nintendo Wii console and it's a bundle. I picked this up at a thrift store for 20 bucks. I did not hook this up to a TV and test it, but I did show that the light came on and it was a pretty big bundle. I thought it was a really great deal. And I ended up selling this for my asking price of $90 to a viewer, Pinky Secondhand Store. And she is going to resell this. So I'm guessing she's probably going to part it out. So definitely check her out. And this is her store. And you can save her as a seller by clicking on the heart. This is a Lion King action figure or cake topper. Cake topper is a great thing to put in the title if the items will go on top of a cake. And People look for these, but I sold these for $40.30 plus shipping, and I got these at the Goodwill bins. Now, if you ever buy anything on eBay or any other platform and you're going to put it on a cake, definitely wash the items first because these are just toys. This is a vintage Snuggle Bear plush from 1986, Lever Brothers, Fabric Softener. It's got the original tag on it. I got this at a thrift store for 50 cents. It sold really fast for $42.25 plus shipping. The next item I ended up taking a best offer on. I do have footage in a video of when I picked these up. Another one that I got the same day sold for big bucks. Uh, just a big money bolo. This one, I ended up taking a best offer of $75 plus shipping. She had a little chip on her nose and she wasn't, I wasn't getting the attention that I thought I was going to get on her. So I just went ahead and took the 75 bucks and I paid a dollar for her to garage sale. So I was thrilled with that. But look at her cute little shoes. And a dollar into 75, I'll take that all day. This is DMC Embroidery Floss. I have so much of this that I still need to list. But this person bought four of these. And one of these, a total of five items for $50 plus shipping. I still have 19 of these left. So if anybody is looking for red three, two, one, I've got you. I've got you covered here. And uh, the next item was this lot. This was actually an international buyer. And same thing, I priced it high so nobody else would come in and snag it and told them to make me a best offer of the $153 that she had offered me. 
So originally what had happened is she had bought each one of these individually and it was through the international shipping program. So there was no way for me to combine shipping. So her shipping costs were crazy because it was what nine different listings and she was getting charged shipping on all of those. And it was the global or I'm sorry, it's called it used to be global shipping, but now it's the eBay international shipping. So there was no way for me to bundle it. So what we did is we canceled all of them. And I created one listing for her at the total of 153 plus shipping. And again, this went internationally. I can't remember which country. This next item is a brooch. I believe I picked this up for 50 cents. I don't remember where I got it. It was signed Polcini. Uh, I think that's how you say it. And it's just a deco lady profile pin. It's a brooch. I ended up taking a best offer of $55 plus shipping on this. All right, you guys, what do you think about those big money bolos? Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here and a video down below and a subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed already, I would love for you to subscribe. Let me know how you found the channel and thanks for watching.